Hello there folks, GB News. I've said in the past I'm not a big watcher of it, well I'm not a watcher of it at all. But over the last few months since this channel's been running, and especially since the whole Philip Schofield uh, saga began, I used to watch snippets of things on from GB News and the other one, Is It Talk News? Because um, they were covering it excessively. Um, and I used to watch people like Dan Wooten, Old Eamon, Piers, is it Kevin O'Sullivan? All those people across those channels, because they all had a lot to say. Um, as I say, I've never watched any of the news channels, but on YouTube, you get five, six, seven, ten minute snippets of various subjects they're discussing. And if it's a subject that interests me, then I watch it. Um, and I was watching something uh, late last night, very late last night. It's this, is it Michelle Dubery again? I think she's the the squeeze of uh, Simon Jordan from Talks. But I did something on old Michelle about four or five weeks ago on air. She covered something in a programme and I thought she did it really, really well. And I was adding my two pen and just saying, well done to the young lady. Not that she needs it, not that she'll ever have seen it, but it was my opinion based on what, what I'd viewed. Anyway, she was doing something, it must have been on yesterday's show, and they must have took the snippet out, which I ended up watching on YouTube. And it was about how GB News are really struggling for advertisers, and I mean struggling massively. She says they're getting boycotted by everybody. We get a new advertiser on board, they come along and pressure groups force them out in absolutely no time. She said because GB News is all about the real news on what's really, really happening and they will give you the truth and they'll give you their truth, the truth that many of us want to hear and because they won't sugarcoat things and because they're not, is it woke? I think that's one of the words these young men are using now. I think I understand it, I don't know if I do really. But because of all these things, all the various activists from all the the uh, groups that GB News talk about and sometimes stand up against, all the activists just batter anybody that wants to advertise with GB News and makes them fearful for their life and makes them pull away. And it's happening with regularity. Now, all I will say about GB News is this channel started, what, three, three and a half months ago now. It's massively in its infancy and it's just me talking to you and that's it. And we get on great, don't we? Well, I think we do. I've got some lovely people out there who I like and who I listen to the comments on, of, and I appreciate the comments. And I've got loyal followers and I appreciate that. But every time somebody joins, um, well, not every time, it, it, I don't know if it's Google accounts or whatever it is, but certain ones when they join, they might have a YouTube account, that might be it, they have a YouTube account. And at the bottom of my computer, it'll say such and such a body joined today. And I'll click on, and I can click on to the channel that they've got, their own channel. I've actually followed a couple of them, I think, if a memory serves me. But I see what they've got on there. And sometimes I see things that make me feel really good. I mean, there's this one person on there, I don't know who it was from months ago. He's following Rory Gallagher. Many of you won't know old Rory. I mean, Rory's dead now anyway, so if you didn't know him then, you won't know him now. But I can tell you he's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Irish guitarist, or was. One of the great guitarists of our time. And one of the most modest men you'd ever come across in music. Brilliant at what he did. But with such modesty, it just just belies what a fantastic person he is. Just a fantastic person. Anyway, I digress. I always do. Many of them follow things like GB News. Many have GB News on there. Some of them have some of these people that have got millions of followers that speak up and give a truth like myself. Some I may agree with. Some I don't. Um, but it seems many of people that follow me follow GB News and maybe even talk news. And it makes me think people must be following them just because they do believe they're telling the truth. Because they do believe that they're not afraid to tell the truth and they're not afraid to stand up and say, look, this is what we think. And I think that's a good thing. Surely that's a good thing. Why on earth would advertisers jump on board and let a bunch of idiots who don't know what they're talking about threaten them with this, that or the other and make them pull out of advertising? I don't understand why they would, but it's happening more and more, this kind of thing in our country where pressure groups are putting on pressure and making people do 100% different than they actually want or wanted to do because they're all afraid of repercussions and it's just a shame, it, it really is. We should all be able to tell the truth as we see it, that's, that's what this channel's about. You tell the truth and if people like it, great. If they don't, also great, but they'll tell you what they think. That's why there's always been a comment section on here, that's why it's always been open, that's why it always will be open. That's also why nobody will get banned on here. You can say what you want. If I don't like it, I don't like it. It's one of those things. But you're allowed to say it because it's a free country we live in. I cannot believe GB News cannot get advertisers. I really can't. 
for all who don't watch the channel, I think it's sad, really, really sad. All I will say is I hope it's a channel that carries on and thrives even without the advertisers. I would hate to think these pressure groups and these activists and these, well, I can only class them as fools really, don't ultimately win. Because the aim is obviously to close these channels down. I hope they're not successful, I really, really do. Um, it says a, a lot about our country at this moment in time, it really does. Why I picked this laptop up from there, just, I don't know. I don't know what I did. It obviously hasn't ended until I click it, and the click is three, two, one, away.